When you're working on a project, you will sooner or later run into some kind of error. So maybe you have a typo somewhere or maybe you use a function in PHP that doesn't exist and Kirby will break. And let's simulate this. So in our editor, we go to the site folder and to templates and to our default PHP template. And let's use a function in here that doesn't exist in PHP. So this would create um, an error in this case. And when we open this up, in the browser, you can see Kirby will give us this white screen here with a bit of information that something's going wrong, but it doesn't really tell you what exactly is going wrong. The only thing that it's tell us, telling us is that we should probably switch on debug mode. So let's have a look at this. So this is how you switch it on, and I will show you how, it, how this exactly works. So back to our editor into the side folder, we will create a new config folder if it's not there yet. In this case, it's already there. And in this config folder, you will need a config.php if it's not there yet. And then we can create or we can paste the code from the docs in here. So now with this, we have switched on the so-called debug mode in Kirby. So we set this to true, it's on. If you set it to false, it's off. And let's see what happens when we reload the site. So this is the white screen before. If you reload it, we get to this debug mode or this debug view. And the debug view tells us what kind of mistake happened here. So what kind of error did we cause? And it will also tell us where it is in our code. So on the left, we can see, okay, it's, an, it's a call to an undefined function, so this function foo does not exist. And on the right, we can see um, in which file it happened, and it, we can also see in which line it happened, and it even gives us the, the code that we used there. So now we can go back to our template and fix that and get rid of the uh, uh, invalid function here. You can see in the debug view that we also have additional information here um, that could be helpful with this kind of error that we created. So any kind of post data or query data or session data is um, being shown here. And this view exposes quite a few details about our setup. So this is something that is super, super helpful when we work on a site on our local installation, but it's something that shouldn't be shown to your visitors on a live server. So whenever you push this um, online or you put it online uh, via FTP or whatever, this should be hidden. You shouldn't expose this kind of information. And I can show you how to make sure that this will never happen. So in this case, what we actually really want is that the white screen appears again that we've seen before. And we can do this by copying this config file and creating another one. And Kirby has an option to create multiple configuration files depending on your domain or your environment. So for example, in this case, when we know that our final site will be uploaded to superagency.com or the domain will be superagency.com, we can put that domain in here. And you should probably replace this with your own domain, uh, domain of course. And then Kirby will go and take this config file and replace whatever is in this one with this one. And this is super useful because now, now we can switch the debug mode on uh, off, but only when we are on the superagency.com domain. Whenever we are in our local environment or every uh, everybody else in our team uses it, um, the debug mode is on. Of course, you can turn it around. So you could also say debug mode is, um, is off by default, and then you only switch it on um, based on a localhost domain, for example, that could also work. Um, that's, that's up to you what you prefer. But this is a simple way to make sure you don't expose that information to your visitors or to your clients. You can only see it while you're working on the website. That was my little video about the debug mode. I hope you enjoyed it and it helps you in your next project. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.